Good morning guys and welcome to Salzburg, Austria. We have taken a short train ride from Munich to Salzburg and we have spent the last few days exploring the area to show you the best things to do here. And first things first, we're gonna start this jam-packed day off with some coffee. Today is gonna be about trying to follow a path that I've created which should allow us to see just about everything you could possibly see in one day in Salzburg. The top of our journey today begins with a cup of coffee at a coffee shop called Cappuccino. It's not a traditional coffee shop slash cafe that you'd normally associate with coffee in Austria, but it's still highly rated online. Another reason why we stopped at Cappuccino is because of its proximity to Mirabel Palace and Gardens. This palace and gardens date back to 1606 and it was built by the Prince Archbishop in honor of his mistress or for his mistress. It's more famous for the sound of music and being the location that Maria and the kids go and sing and dance through during the song Do Re Mi. There's no sign saying that you shouldn't run around the fountain, but I'm assuming it's frowned upon. They're lucky I have some willpower. <laughs> There's also people over by the gate in front of that fountain taking pictures with like their hands pointed up and their leg up, kind of like Maria in The Sound of Music in that scene. Yeah. And it's kind of funny. I walked up and I was like, what are they doing? And then I realized, I was like, oh yeah, that's where that happened. The Sound of Music is unquestionably the movie that launched Salzburg onto the global map in the 1960s, but is very famous and very prominent in the world of music thanks to its most famous son. Now in case you've not heard of him, which odds are you have, but just in case, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born here in 1756 in this house. He's considered one of the greatest, if not the greatest, composer in history with more than 600 composed works starting at the age of five and revolutionizing classical music during his life. In my opinion, the craziest part about all this is that he died at just 35. That's a massive amount of work and contribution for just 30 years. This birthplace and museum is one of the most visited museums in Austria, so we felt like we couldn't pass it up. Real quick before we keep going, we wanted to mention something called the Salzburg card. This card is a must get for anyone visiting Salzburg because with this card, it gets you access to every museum that we're visiting today, as well as a host of other attractions that we won't make it to. And it even gets you access to the public transportation system minus the S-Bahn. They're sold in 24, 48, and 72 hour periods, but we opted to get the 24 hour card, which costs 30 euros each and 60 euros total. We'll add a running total during this vlog of all of the museums that we visit today and what they actually cost for admission and we'll see what we were supposed to spend. We're not getting paid to advertise these cards or anything like that. We just think that we're gonna save some money. So we wanted to share that with you. On the way to the next stop, we are walking through Residence Square, which is a really popular area for New Year's Eve celebrations and for massive sporting events. And also for Maria's splashing in the fountains when she sings, I have confidence in me. Yep, that is correct. That's the fountain right there. Can with, I splash in it? With the horse. Please. I don't want to get arrested. Please. No, I want to splash. Come on. Oh, oh man, she has a reach. <laughs> My arms are so short. Hey, there we go, you did it. The next stop though is Salzburg Cathedral. This is a 17th century Baroque church that's considered Salzburg's most sacred building. This is also where Mozart was baptized the day after his birth. We initially anticipated to go into Salzburg Cathedral because online it says that it's free. However, there's a sign outside the door that says that if you don't have the Salzburg card, it's five euros each. And if you do have the Salzburg card, it's three euros and 50 cents each. But we've already spent 60 euros to go into all the places that we're going into today. And we don't really have seven euros to spend. It's very nice outside yeah. though. And I'm sure it's probably beautiful inside. Nearby is St. Peter's Abbey, Cemetery, and Catacombs. This is Salzburg's oldest Christian cemetery and one of the oldest cemeteries in the entire world. English? Okay. I don't think either one of us expected this. Nope. This is gnarly. It's the burial site for Mozart's sister Mannerly, composer Michael Hayden, and Santino Solari, who's the architect who built the Salzburg Cathedral. And it's also a notable filming spot where the Von Trapps hide from the Nazis. But I believe that scene was recreated elsewhere out of respect for the actual graves here, but this is where it supposedly happens. You can access this area with the Salzburg card, so it's definitely worth a visit. Mm. 
Next up's definitely the most noticeable structure in Salzburg. We're heading up to Hohen Salzburg Fortress, but in order to get up there, we're taking the Festungsbahn, which is a tram that runs up the side of the hill. We normally climb it ourselves, but the ride and access to the fortress comes with the Salzburg card. The tram runs every 10 minutes and takes about a minute from start to finish. The sun is so shiny up here. It is, it is bright. It is shiny up here. As we mentioned earlier, the Hohen Salzburg Fortress dominates the skyline here in Salzburg, or at least the man-made skyline. This serves as a fortress in medieval times and sits at an altitude of 506 meters, or 1,660 feet. Being this high up gave a 360 degree view of the city and surroundings, so it never really experienced any real sieges. I think what's crazy about these fortresses to me is you get up to the fortress and especially from the ground it looks you know like a defensive fort but once you get in it's this sprawling complex of buildings with a church right here it's just huge it looks like a small little town maybe I just don't know much about fortresses but that's probably the coolest thing about these things I'm not sure if you can see but at the tip of that mountain there's a funicular that goes up to the top of it it's really high could not be me. Just trying to breathe. Yeah. Once you're inside the fortress, there's a host of different things you can do from museums to walking around the, to see the panoramic views or grabbing a bite to eat at a restaurant. All right, so we've come back down the tram from the Hohen Salzburg uh, Fortress, and now we are going to hop on the public transit because that is included for the 24 hours with our Salzburg card. I don't know if you can see it very well, but each ticket for us to take a tram for a day is four euro fifty each. There wasn't a place for us to scan our tickets or our cards, so I think that we're just good because we have the cards. I asked the bus driver and he said that we don't scan it up there, so I guess we're just riding. All right, we've made it off the bus and now we are going to Hellbrunn Palace. Hellbrunn Palace is a really large Baroque villa dating back to the 1600s and is included also with the Salzburg card. And it's home to the gazebo from The Sound of Music. The interior of the house isn't the same as you'll see in the movie, but it is worth a visit nonetheless. You can't go into the gazebo, which I didn't know. But the gardens and the fountains alone that you'll see here, especially during the fall time, beautiful. To be clear, guys, this isn't a Sound of Music tour vlog, but they filmed kind of everywhere in Salzburg, except for our next stop. So we don't usually go to zoos, especially this year, because normally they kind of cost a lot, but this was also included in the Salzburg card. And I'll show you exactly why it's worth it to come here, because you know, you're saving money with that Salzburg card, as we've mentioned like seven times already. Oh gosh, that's a lot. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you made me do this. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah, your friends are talking to you. Are you okay, sir? <laughs> the zoo was very cool. It was a smaller zoo, but it has just about everything you'd ever want to see in a zoo. And the animals were incredibly active. Yeah. And the scenery also, you have like these roaming animals with mountains in the background. It's just really pretty. It is. It's a cool zoo. Now we are at the bus stop again to take the 25 bus a little bit further along. As we've mentioned with the Salzburg card, we get free transportation on the buses here. Trey's not super excited about, but the views should be worth it. We're rushing off the tram because I guess the tram up to the top runs every 30 minutes and we might be able to catch the one at three if we run. Woo! So we just ran on here before I could think. We were on the little tram thing that'll take us up and down. Technically, I could still get off if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna throw my sunglasses on shut my eyes and try to breathe. How are you feeling? Um, definitely fingers have popped like four or five times and you know, we're getting a little dizzy but we're in there. Feeling great. Just trying to breathe. Are you 
trying to leave already? I'm, I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> Tried to get Trey to come with me. It's a no-go. So we're gonna check up here to see what all of this is up here. I have no idea what the fun facts are that Trey researched and he's not with me. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so mad that he didn't see this. It's so crazy up here. You can see for, I don't even know how far that is, but that's really far. I think it's really far. <laughs> This is definitely not like the gondola we took in Sanaya. There, the ground was much more level for skiing, and the top of this mountain is for the hikers and people who aren't necessarily scared of heights. For those of you who are much braver than us, there are hiking paths that you can do up to even this point. I literally just saw someone climb over these rails. <laughs> it's around 27, maybe 30 euros to take the gondola up and down. With the Selfer card, you already have that fee covered in your purchase. So it's definitely worth it. If you're not scared of heights, poor Trey is stuck down there. That was fun. Never again. I made it up to the top. <laughs> I did not handle it well. <laughs> it's brutal. But you know what? I did it and uh, made it back down. It wasn't a rousing, you know, beat down of a win. It was a win. Now that we've made it down the mountain, we are on bus number five on the public transit, and we are headed back into the city center. Um, I think we're going to try to show you a little bit more, one more stop in Old Town, as well as dinner and a really cool beer spot before we wrap today's vlog up. Tonight's dinner might be an epic fail, but we're going to try. Our Airbnb host, Dimitris, recommended us to get this place for dinner, and it's also really highly recommended everywhere online. The only issue is I tried to find a reservation, and there's no reservations available anytime that we're here. So we're going to try and walk up, and if it doesn't work, then I guess we'll find another place. I do love. Thank you. It's been pretty hard to find any reservations within like the next like three days. We're only here today, and then tomorrow, and then we leave. But we are... Very excited because I didn't think that we were gonna get any kind of seat here. Also just call out, none of the things that we do the rest of the night are gonna be included on the Salzburg card. So I'm gonna put the total right here. We just got moved into the main room and I feel like I just got like upgraded to like the members only club, even though it's just like reservations and stuff. So I was going to get the goulash with the dumplings, but I ended up panicking at the last second and I asked the server his preference between that and another dish and he said the other dish is what they're famous for. So I got the other dish. It should be really good. Hannah, what did you get? Ooh, she got the gnocchi. It's gonna be a good meal. I'm confident. I don't think I've had fried chicken in like the entire year. So this is going to be an experience that I cannot wait for. Some of the best chicken, fried chicken I've ever had in my life. This is unbelievable. And the gnocchi is unlike any other I've ever had. It's so light, but also perfect. I don't even know how to describe it. It's perfect. I don't think they know this. No, I know they don't. But they gave us gummy bears as a dessert and I'm so excited. They're my favorite. I know we've said it a million times, but that place really is the best. I literally can't stop smiling. But we still have to truck on because we have a few more places to show you. Okay, so we just came to a place called August Augustiner Brostable. It's a very famous brewery here in Salzburg, and we were gonna wrap up with a beer here. However, there is Dinamo in town. They're playing in the Champions League against RB Salzburg. This place closes like once every three or four years, and it's normally for like high-risk football matches. Actually, he's like, if you really want a good English pub or anything like that that's nearby, go to Murphy's Law, which is funny, because that's where we were going to watch the game tonight with Chelsea at AC Milan. So it's funny how things kind of work out when you least expect them to. Before we go to Murphy's Law, we wanted to walk over here to an area of Old Town because we haven't explicitly told you that Salzburg has an Old Town, but this is a part of its Old Town. Salzburg's center area of their Old Town sits between the fortress before the Salzach River and has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1997. Walking through the streets, you'll see all kinds of different architectural influence from the Middle Ages all the way up to the Renaissance period. All right, Hannah, beers. Bears. The final stop for tonight is called Murphy's Law. It's a really popular English pub here. We figured we should probably catch some of this match that closed down a brewery that never closes. Yep. So it must be an important one. Yep. Also, if you would leave a like in honor of me uh, facing my fear and cowering <laughs> he deserves a at the like. top, if you would leave a like, that would be very much appreciated. It helps us, helps other people find the channel, and it'd be great. So thank you very much.
Seriously, thank you. 